irregular halach. Okay, now we need to talk about halach. Halach is a verb that starts with hey. Right, we got a hey here. But it behaves as if it is starting with a yud. It behaves like yashav. Now, of course, we know that yashav, we see the yud there, but it's really a first vav, okay? So halach is behaving as if it is a first vav like yashav. Now, we've seen this before. We saw this with lakach. Let's put the lamed down here. Well, I guess we could do this whole thing. Uh, halach and lakach. It's starting to look a little messy, but lakach behaves like a first nun. And you can think of, well, in the tables, you have natan. Okay? It's actually closer to nasa. But anyway. If you have not time, the reason I'm writing these out this way is because it's a way to re remember these two. This means to give, this means to take. So give and take. They go together. Lakach behaves like a first nun. These two mean sit and walk. So if you can think of sit and walk together and give and take together, then you'll know that halach behaves like a first vav and lakach behaves like a first nun. If that's not useful to you, then don't worry about my silly mnemonic here. Okay. Halach behaves like a first vav in the cow. And here's some examples. The imperfect imperative and the two infinitives. So, for the strong verb, we have yifkod. The first vav, though, doesn't look like that, does it? We have the two tseres, the e-type. Yeshev. And lo and behold, halach, in the imperfect, 3ms, is also like that. It's yelech. Who would guess, eh? Yelech. I mean, the he is dropped, and it's as if there was a vav there, and it's become like, just like this. Imperative, bekod. Well, in the first vav, you have something like shave. At least that's one of the forms. And true enough, halach becomes lech. And this is common. Like, it's used a lot in the Bible. Lech. Kum lech. God will tell people to get up and go, or other people will instruct others. It's an imperative. Lech. Pekod in the strong becomes Shevet in the first Cal, and remember, or the first Vav, Cal. Remember, first Nun is also like this, Geshet. But first Vav, Shevet, and true enough, Halach becomes Lechet. So, this is a verb just to sort of, well, be aware that it functions like Vav, first Vav. Infinitive absolute, Pekod, in the first Vav is Yashov. So here, this is normal. This first vav is behaving just like a strong verb. And sure enough, you get to halach, and it also behaves just like a strong verb. Hol, uh, haloch, yashov, pakod. They're all behaving the same. So halach behaves like a first vav, where first vav does, and behaves like a strong verb, where first vav does. So just think of it as a first vav verb. At least in the cal and in the hifil. So both binyan. So let's run through this quickly. Hifkid in the perfect becomes yoshiv. Remember in the hifil you see the vav throughout all the first vav and it's a holon vav, a vowel through all of it. And sure enough you get holich. Now this he is not this he, right? The he here has disappeared, it's as if it's become a vav. This is the hifil he. Same he as that. Okay, uh, Yafkid, Yoshiv, remember we lost our A-type, at least. Technically this is an A-type vowel, but who would know that a whole vowel is an A-type vowel? It's just called that for historical reason. But you got Yoshiv, and over here you have Yolich, so same form. Imperative, Hafkid, Yoshiv, so the last part's the same, the first part you have your whole vowel, and Holich. So again, the imperative in the hifil is holech. And then mafkid becomes moshiv, holon vav, and molich, holon vav. So halach behaves like a first vav, like yashav, in both the k 
Cal and the Hifiel. And my mnemonic is, you can think of sitting, yashav, and walking, halach, as two things that go together.